So we want to find the distance between two points on the number plane, or if you like, the length of the interval that is joining those two points. Here I've got the point 1, 2 and the point 4, 5. And we know that uh, each point on the number plane is given by an ordered pair. The order matters because the first number in the pair tells you how far across from the y-axis you are. The second number in the pair tells you how far up or down you are from the x-axis. So this point 1, 2, where one unit across from the y-axis and where two units up from the x-axis, and this point 4, 5, where four units across from the y-axis and where five units up from the x-axis. And some people would say what they do to locate the point 1, 2 is they start at the origin and they go across 1 and up 2. So there's our two points and we have to find the distance between them. So we've been asked to find that distance there. Now on the number plane, um, it's an orthogonal or right angle type of situation on the number plane. So you could draw up a bit of a right angle triangle there to help you find that distance. There's a right angle in there. You could just look at this length across here, knowing that this point, because it's 4, 5, it's 4 units across. And because this is 1, 2, it's 1 unit across. So this must be 4 units across minus 1 unit across. It must be 3 units in length, that length there. And this length here, all the way up there is five units up because the second number in the pair is five and the second number in this pair is two. So five units is too much, but if you take off two, you will actually be able to find that distance there. So this is three units and this is three units. So this length here, by Pythagoras' theorem, will be the square root of 3 squared plus 3 squared. 9 plus 9 is 18, so it'll be the square root of 18. And I'll leave it written like that rather than simplifying it. The distance between those two points is the square root of 18. I could have made two simpler points where we could do Pythagoras very easily, but not all points are going to be perfectly placed in a Pythagorean triad, are they? So if we can find those two lengths horizontally and vertically, we can use Pythagoras' theorem to work out the distance between the two points, which will most commonly be a hypotenuse-looking situation. Uh, when I say most commonly, not all points are going to be placed obliquely from one another. You can have two points that are horizontal or vertical in relationship to each other, and then you don't need to, to do the whole Pythagoras' theorem, do you? All right, so let's have a look at another example of two points on the number plane where we would like to find the distance between the two points or the length of the interval that joins them. So here we've been given the point negative six comma three and nine comma negative five. So those two points are an awful long way apart. And we need to find the length uh, of the interval that joins those two points, right? How long is that beast there? That's what we've been asked to find, the distance between the two points. Now, like last time, we could go, let's go horizontal and vertical. in order to use our right angle triangle and our Pythagoras. 
So vertically, we can count these up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we can see there's eight. But the quicker way to find that is to find the difference in the y coordinates for vertical. So we've got negative five here and we've got three here. So we can find that difference, right? Three minus negative five, that's three plus five equals eight. That's eight units long. What if you'd gone negative five minus three? You'd get negative eight, which isn't really the distance, is it? But if you think about it, it wouldn't matter because when you use Pythagoras' theorem, you square the sides, don't you? And if you square eight, you get 64. And if you square negative eight, you get 64. So if I came to do something like this without a picture, and I accidentally, instead of saying three minus minus five equals eight, I said negative five minus three equals minus eight, it's not gonna matter because I'll square that negative eight that I got and I'll get 64 anyway. Okay, going along here, instead of counting them all, which I don't wanna count, I'm just going to do the difference in the X's and that's gonna give me the distance apart they are horizontally. So this one's at nine and this one's at negative six. So what's nine minus negative six? That's nine plus six, that's 15. So this is 15 units. All the way along here is 15. And this was eight. So we can just use Pythagoras' theorem to work out that length there, right? That length there of this, of this interval that joins the two points is the square root of 8 squared and 15 squared. 64, 225, 289, square root 29 is 17. The distance between the point negative 6, 3 and 9, negative 5 on the number plane is exactly 17 units long, like the distance between them. And the interval that joins them is exactly 17 units long. So we used Pythagoras' theorem to find that. Now, you can always draw up uh, the situation on a number plane and work out what, what your uh, answer is to be. But sometimes you don't want to draw it up and you would like just to use some sort of formula to work out the difference between two points on the number plane. So what if we take a couple of points on the number plane and we call them, instead of the ones that we've got there, let's uh, just adjust that. And let's have, um, let's have a couple of points like uh, over here, this, this point here can be the point X, Y, I'll call it x1, y1, x1, y1 on the number plane. And let's pick another point over here, and this can be the point x subscript 2, y subscript 2. So that's what we do on the number plane, we give little subscripts to say, look, we've got this point, some general point at the moment, I don't know exactly what its numerical coordinates are, so I'm gonna describe it using sort of algebra. Um, so this is x1, y1, and this is x2, y2. And we wanna know the distance between those two points there, that red line. So we find the horizontal distance and we find the vertical distance because we've got a right angle in here. Now, like we said before, to get the horizontal distance, you want the difference in the x-coordinates. 
So this distance will be x2 minus x1, whatever that turns out to be. And this distance vertically will be y2 minus y1. Then we can work out what this length is. It'll look a little bit um, complicated, but we do know the horizontal and the vertical, so we can use Pythagoras' theorem to work out this length here. And it will be the square root of the horizontal one squared and the vertical one squared. So it's the difference in the x coordinates squared and the difference in the y coordinates squared. That's, and then you're square rooting that. So that gives us, if I call that d, that gives us the distance between two points, x1, y1, and x2, y2 on the number plane. There's a formula that you could use. So if you're given two points and no picture, you could still just substitute into the points. And the great thing is that it doesn't matter which way around you put the x coordinates or the y coordinates because you're squaring so it'll, it'll fix it up whether it came out negative or positive. 